Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I know you guys are here for your school hours, but we appreciate you allowing Red King to come in and share our passion, our knowledge with you. So just in a show of hands, how many of you guys are having amazing success with your Redken hair color? A little bit. How many of you guys are getting best gray coverages with your Redken hair color? Just in a show of hands. A little bit. Nice. Well, we're going to get you guys completely comfortable and grounded with utilizing your Redken hair color to its fullest potential. My name is Rosa Cisneros. I am a Redken artist. I am also a salon owner, a stylist. I work five days a week behind the chair. And um, my calling in life, my passion is definitely to help others grow, to teach and see the industry as well as stylists succeed with what they love doing behind the chair. So I know you guys get a ton of education in here on a regular basis, right? That's what I was just talking with your instructor about is probably at least twice a month, a new face is up here saying something to you guys industry related. So today for the next hour and a half-ish, we're gonna be talking about a couple different things and I am really excited to get your guys' feedback, feedback, feedback and input on our color lines. But before we get started with that, just a couple couple things on how we're going to have our learning experience and our learning environment with one another. Why in the beauty industry do we continue education? Why do you guys think we take classes and come to get inspired? Yes? Because we're ever evolving. Oh yes, definitely. We are constantly evolving and I feel like with social media, it's almost like sometimes by the day, by the minute, by the second, someone's coming out with either a new technique or um, a different um, style that's gonna evolve coming up in the future. So great input because we're constantly changing. Um, how many of you guys feel like you come to education to learn something, yeah. right? Just in a show of hands, how many of you guys come here to learn? So we learn, but not only just learning new techniques, new um, products, but more importantly, you learn so that you can better yourself behind the chair. Right? So you can give your clients newer looks so that you can educate your clients as well. So we know that everyone has their own type of style, yes? So that being like your personal style maybe, whether it's the way you wear your makeup, or the way you dress, or your style behind the chair. Do you, have you guys noticed that everyone kind of has their own personal style with their work ethic behind the chair? So everyone has a different style that they utilize when it comes working working behind the chair to give our clients different looks. So with those different styles, you guys get outcomes, right? So when you learned your first one length haircut, how was that? Two hours, right? Oh, thank you for that. I can remember being in beauty school. Like my first men's cut, I think, and I was a night student, I think took me all night. Like I was working on the same men's cut for like four hours. So learning haircuts can be a little bit tricky, right? But knowing that everyone has their different style, there's an outcome with the style that we've just created, right? You guys also know that there is different methodologies. Have your instructors taught you different ways to do different things, whether it be color applications or haircuts or blow drying techniques or updos. So you know that with these different outcomes, there's different methods behind it. So when we have these different methods, they can honestly give us the best results that we've seen working behind the chair. And when we see these results, we love what we're getting into, right? Like we love seeing the success that we get with these results. And they typically become somewhat of our habits, right? Like everyone has habits behind the chair, if you guys haven't created or developed those just yet. But how many of you guys have great habits behind the chair? No one? Like no one has a perfect SMA setup. <laughs> no? What about bad habits? Does anyone have bad habits behind the chair? Right? Whether it be not um, having enough clips or not having the proper combs. So we can have good and bad habits behind the chair. Do you guys agree? So with these different types of habits, we can get not only different results, but they can also become, become our belief system. Right? Like when you were learning that one length haircut, you know that if you have zero elevation and you're only using your finger inch depth, you're gonna get a perfect one length haircut. But the second you start to pull that out, what does that create naturally? Elevation. elevation. And what does elevation give us? Say it again? 
volume, it could give us volume, but it more importantly gives us graduation, yes? Yeah, so um, understanding those principles and those fundamentals that these habits, these results, they become our belief system that we have set up. So for the next hour and a half that we're together, this is our learning environment. So this is a learning ground, not a proving ground, right? We come in here to learn. So when we say mistakes are okay, we really want you guys to embrace mistakes when we're interacting with each other, when we're asking questions. So know that mistakes in this room are perfectly okay. And we want you to make mistakes because what happens when you make a mistake behind the chair? Yeah, you definitely start to learn from these mistakes. But when we're learning from mistakes, it's really important for us to be open. To be what? Open, right? Why do we want to be open in a learning environment like this? Yeah, so we can grow. Why else? There's not only one way to do everything, so we can better ourselves so that we can continue to learn. So being responsible for our own learning. We know that you guys are required to be here right now, yes? So when we say be responsible for our own learning, we really want you to take away as much as you possibly can from today's content. And really being responsible is taking notes, taking pictures, doing whatever it is that your brain is gonna trigger and remember as much content and information from today. So you really want to take action and be responsible for your own learning that you're going to need to do to make today worth your while as well as time. Also, justify, lay, blame, and deny. A lot of times when we come into education, learning something can be a little bit intimidating as well as scary. Do you guys agree? Yeah. yeah, so when we're learning new things, we sometimes justify, lay, blame, and deny. So what do we think justify means? Yeah, making an excuse, right? Like if I show you a technique later today, we may naturally justify that, oh, my client may not want that color out or this end result. So more importantly, when we lay blame, what else is that like? What does a lay blame sound like? Yeah, maybe putting it on someone else. Well, my clients are gonna come in and asking for this, so I'm not gonna try to achieve this technique. So we lay blame on someone else. And then deny, what about denying something? What does that sound like? Yeah, we might not be taking responsibility or denying the fact that our clients really want these looks. It's maybe us as a stylist that doesn't really want to take that risk to give them what it is that they're looking for. So learning requires tons of energy. That's physical and mental energy. How many of you guys have discovered that being in school Monday through Friday? Like it takes a lot of physical energy. So if you need to stand up, get some blood flowing, we really encourage you to be responsible as well as keeping your own energy level up. Mental energy, what do you think mental energy is like? How do we have to keep our mental energy up? Say it again? Yeah, maybe positive, um, positive information that we're taking in, remembering content that we're taking in, so making sure that it's both physical as well as mental energy that we're creating. And then celebrating all our wins because you're going to have a great learning experience today, but you're also going to have a lot of learning ahas. So when we learn something, it's really important to celebrate the win. So why do we want to celebrate wins? Yeah, you want to do it again, right? Not only do you want to do it again, it also becomes a memory. And what happens when you have a memory in your head? You won't forget it, absolutely. Like it's something that's embedded in there. So that's gonna allow you to be even more successful behind the chair and get not only the clients that you're looking to work with, but utilize the content as well as techniques with what we're gonna be working with and sharing today. So I need to know from you as stylists working with our color lines, what is it that you need to